everyone. It's uh, Sunday morning and uh, last night we had a good time in uh, Fall River, Massachusetts visiting our son and my granddaughter. <sighs> and uh, today we're, it's Sunday, we're gonna go to the Submarine Museum in Groton, Connecticut. Anyway, so uh, we're in the car now. I'm waiting for the wife and we're getting ready to go. And there she comes, so we will see you there. This place is pretty, pretty tight, it is. but uh, you can see uh, the bathroom where you brush your teeth and uh, or the head, they called it. Sleeping quarters. And go over to the torpedo room, check it out. Definitely a nice place to bring the kids and the family. We're inside the Nautilus, by the way, the submarine Nautilus. Cool. Definitely can't be Everything a big guy to be in this place. Cool. Check out this door. <laughs> wow. I probably wouldn't qualify for submarine duty. More bathrooms. And then the guy just Pets. comes inside the door. I don't want to see the rooms. I press five. Showers. Why? You're not at number five yet. Kitchen. And here you can go down. Open this and you go down. Are we on two? Or you can go up. I wonder if you can go up here and then you have to open that thing up there. Okay. You gotta film up here. Are there two? No. We're two right now. Look, look at look at a picture of it back in the day, being you. No, we can't go there. Sleeping quarters, officers' quarters. Someone's busy writing. Inside the USS Nautilus, wonderful, wonderful submarine. And let me tell you, you don't have to be small to fit in these places. This would be tight for me in some spots. So, and I'm only 5'11, a little chubby. Oh, 
heads of the casualty. Separate arms were I used to do. Wait, wait, wait. You can go, you can go. It says to keep your children nearby. Oh, yeah, <laughs> before they fire off a torpedo. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oliver, it would be nice if there's, there was no glass, but you know, I've, they have to put the glass in order to make it uh, protected and stuff from little fingers and so on. It's pretty nice, nice, uh, really nice museum, really nice submarine to visit. That's the attack center, by the way. And by the way, we are underwater. The submarine here at the museum is submerged, except for the very top where you gotta get in, right? But sonar room. going downstairs you can further down check this out <laughs> it's down there Control room. Oh, this is steep. <laughs> Three people to control. Four just to control rudder, <coughs> chip setting, all of that. A cup of coffee, each one of them. <coughs> You could definitely smell a lot of uh, oil, like uh, in the air here. Probably a lot of things are preserved with oils. I don't know. What is the crayons? Yeah, it has a crayon smell to like it. Wax. It's my, like a wax crayon smell. Oily. It could be the sculptures, you guys. No, it's. They can't be like wax figures. <laughs> See what I mean? Go again, no? No. No? You good? 
Hey, you want to go underwater? No. We are underwater. I know. But we're not jet like under underwater. Yeah. Oh. He tried to do that thing he did. So we're still checking out the museum, and behind me is a Polaris missile. Decommissioned, obviously. But did you know that today's submarines, there are submarines in the American fleet today that can carry 24 missiles, like the Polaris, 24 warheads. That's power. <laughs> finishing our uh, tour of the museum in Groton at the U.S. Uh, submarine uh, base and museum and uh, pretty cool definitely a place to bring your family and your children and uh, there's a lot to do a lot to see that's uh, there's a lot of hands-on stuff too periscopes and so on and a uh, beautiful place to visit definitely if you're in the uh, Groton area Groton Connecticut don't miss it. It's a nice place to come to. My kids definitely enjoyed it very much. Right? You enjoyed it? You had fun? Yeah. Hey! Did you have fun? Yes. Did you like it? I loved it. You loved it? What part did you like the best? I liked the... Yeah. 